Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is a late night warning video for me, uh, but I wanted to get it in real quick before I turned in. I always turn in now and then, then I pray when I'm in bed. It's I found that better for me. Anyway, it is still Wednesday, August 26th, and now it's 9.15 p.m. This was sent to us by our sister, Tessa, known as C.G. Gray Gray, and it's another food recall. Can you believe it? Here, let me click on it. It is an article from The Counter, online publication, and the title is, Peaches Recalled Nationwide After 101 Sickened 17 hospitalized across North America. Now, oh my goodness, and I almost ordered some on my last grocery order. If you bought peaches at any of the country's largest supermarkets this summer, including Target, Walmart, and Kroger, you should probably toss them. Federal agencies on Monday expanded a nationwide recall of peaches linked to the country's largest stone fruit company, Prima. I guess that's how you say it. P-R-I-M-A. Could be Prima. Wawona. The second name is Wawona, W-A-W-O-N-A. -A. Due to potential contamination with Salmonella enteritis. The recall first announced last week was originally limited to bagged fruit and now has been extended to individual and loose peaches as well. Both yellow and white, conventional and organic peaches are affected. Do they want us to have any food at all to buy? A full list of recalled products, including specific produce codes, can be found here. So you will have to click on the link to get the product codes. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, at least 68 individuals have become sickened by the outbreak strain Salmonella enteritis and 14 have you can always go to uh, Google uh, for the phone number for the CDC ask for list of items uh, if you don't aren't able to click on the link and they will tell you if they want to give you a specific phone number to call for peaches, they may do that. Okay, so 68 individuals have become sickened by the outbreak strain, Salmonella enteritis. I'm funny, I've never heard of that before. Enteritis. I've heard of enteritis. But they're at, there's an extra syllable in this, enteritis. And 14 have been hospitalized across nine states. Now, granted, that's not a lot of people. So, I think if you scrubbed your fruit well and peeled it, you'd be fine. But, it's, you know, that's taking a chance. Now, that's like... Way fewer than one out of thousands, you know. Like, it's like calling a, 
uh, global shutdown for the COVID-19. It's the same thing. I mean, seriously, they're recalling peaches because 14 people have been hospitalized across nine states. In Canada, U.S. imported peaches have sickened an additional 33 people in two provinces. I guess that's like a state. Is that like a state province? The Food and Drug Administration is urging eaters, <laughs> eaters, kind of a publication is this is urging eaters <laughs> <That's> just funny <laughs> this sounds funny to me <laughs> when I'm tired I get giddy I can get giddy at times and some things will just really tickle me the Food and Drug Administration is urging eaters <laughs> They should, it should not be that word, okay? Uh, I got straight A's in grammar and literature and composition. <laughs> I promise you that's the wrong word. <laughs> to toss any of the specified, and again, that word is highlighted so you can click on it. Specified fruit purchased from some of the country's largest chains grocery chains such as and now they're including Aldi's Walmart Kroger and Target now see Aldi's Walmart and Kroger I thought they had higher grade but Target I really thought they had higher grade food so it's clearly not who you are it's who you're buying from Okay, but listen, this was between June and August. You might have bought peaches in June, the early first first fruits, <laughs> and froze them. It says, including peaches you might have in your freezer. It's also encouraging both restaurants and suppliers to throw potentially contaminated fruit away I think I would keep mine I would wash it good I might peel it and pray over it they want us to just throw away our meat uh, this uh, what was it onions how many re these reports have I done it says quote Salmonella is really sturdy, meaning it's very good at surviving on plants like fruit and produce, unquote. No, thank you. Salmonella is a foodborne illness that can cause gastrointestinal issues, ranging from stomach aches to bloody feces. That's gross. While most infections resolve themselves without treatment within hours or a few days, many, <laughs> here's that word again, many eaters, including children, elderly people, and those, I can't believe they're using the word eaters, <laughs> it just kills me including children, elderly people, and those who may have compromised immune systems face a heightened, heightened risk for serious complications. There are numerous points along any supply chain where fruits and vegetables can be infected with illness-causing bacteria. This can happen anywhere from farm fields where animal feces can spread disease to produce 
to processing plants that fail to properly sanitize equipment to one's own home where raw meat or eggs can cross-contaminate with other groceries, said Mary Ann Amalradju, some weird name, an associate professor of food microbiology at the University of Connecticut. That's all I'm going to say about that. Wash your peaches and pray over them, I say. What do you say? Leave your comments below and let me know. Will you throw away your peaches? Lord help us. <laughs> Bye for now. I'll talk to you later. Oh, and let me tell you something. And I pray this person doesn't mind. You know the video I put up last? About my testimony? About what happened? I got rid of two demons. And I gave out the email address. Well, one of y'all emailed. And she called. And they're free. They got set free. Now listen, I don't know the details. So if it's you, don't worry. All she wanted me to know was my testimony online helped someone get free. So if you are struggling with issues, you don't have to be afraid. You should be afraid if you don't call. Not, not really, not that, like I said, they live in your outer court. In fact, I found out when I read today about, I wanted to know more about this Leviathan uh, demon and what it was causing me to do. Well, it must have been silent for a while, but it can cause all kinds of things. Well, I was reading about it. The Leviathan can live in your inner court and cause you one, it's a it's a, a a counterfeiter. Like that's why some of the messages I got, I really believed were from the Lord, and were not. That is not to say they all weren't were weren't from the Lord. Okay, but he he snuck in there. Maybe when my guard was down, when my pride was up, when uh, perhaps I'd done something I didn't repent for and should have, or wasn't praying enough, wasn't anointing enough, something. And I got a word a couple times that was not of the Lord, and especially that one about July the 17th. No wonder he is a pretender of the Holy Spirit. That is one of the things that Leviathan does. Praise God, that is gone. Anyway, I wanted y'all to know that. You don't, deliverance is not something to be afraid of. It isn't like they're going to broadcast your details all over a video because they don't. That's not, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's all between you and the Lord. And the person is just a conduit. Uh, it's not like they write down your details in a book and they're going to publish a book. It's nothing like that. You don't have to be afraid. All right, I'm ending it at that. And I pray that if any of you needs any deliverance, that you will write to Kathy and Dan at Grafted in Team Jesus 222 at gmail.com. All right. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.